This massive floating crane is working to clear debris from the Baltimore Bridge collision. The Chesapeake 1000 is so named for its lifting capacity of 1,000 short tons, around 907 metric tons. It's being used to remove large sections of the collapsed Francis Scott Key Bridge. The Chesapeake 1000 has a long history going back to the Cold War. Originally called the Sun 800, it was purpose-built in 1972 to assist in the construction of the Hughes Glomar Explorer. The Glomar Explorer was used in a secret CIA operation to recover a sunken Soviet submarine from the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. Since upgraded and renamed, the Chesapeake 1000 has been called the largest floating crane on the East Coast, but there is an even larger one. The left coast lifter has a capacity of 1,700 metric tons. Its name comes from its original home on the west coast of the US. In 2014, the left coast lifter transited the Panama Canal to do bridge work in New York State. But since that work was finished in 2019, the huge crane has been laid up at Staten Island, and it's even for sale through a company called Heavy Surplus. Paul Petit, the owner of Heavy Surplus, says he hopes to see it used to rebuild the Baltimore Bridge where it could lift massive prefabricated sections into place. But before rebuilding can begin, the wreckage in Baltimore has to be cleared. And even with the Chesapeake 1000 and other heavy equipment at the site, that work is still expected to take weeks. <laughs>